Are you guys enjoying your 4th of July? Are you going to help me put the headlights in Mama's van? I guess not. Hey, it's Rick here. Alright. Well, what I thought I would do is, if you can kind of see, these are kind of foggy. And so I bought some new ones here that are nice and shiny. So, let's see if we can take this out and put that in. All right, show you more. Okay, well, after further examination, I think I can get to this bolt. This grommet that holds this whole apron piece on here has to come off because the other bolt is down in here. And then there's a bolt that's on the back side back here, about right in here. I think I can get to that one. So, I don't know how these come off. So what I'm going to do is go in there and fire up the old YouTube and find somebody that's smarter than me so they, I can figure out how to take these grommets out without tearing them up. Because this is a nice vehicle, I don't want to trash it out. So, You know, I could snap them off and put some baling wire on there, but I don't think the wife's going to like that too well. So, all right. I am going to go figure out how to get these off, and then we'll come back. Show you more. Okay. Well, I went in there and did a little Googling, and I found out that all you got to do is take a screwdriver and pop this little center piece up like this. And I actually then took this. There. So you just pop it up. Once it's popped up, then that whole thing will come out of there. Like that. So. Alright, so I'm going to get the rest of these off. And then this guy I was watching on there scared me because he talks about this one bolt that I thought I could get from the inside here. He says you got to take this loose by popping these two things out. So I'm not looking forward to that. So we'll see how that goes. All right, show you more. Okay, I got all these out. This is what they look like when they come out. And as you can see, this little thing popped out of one of them, and when I went to pull it out, which would be this piece here, it fell down in here someplace, and I can't find it. So, I guess I've looked underneath, I felt down, and there's a little tray down in here. Uh, I looked, felt all around in there, I can't find it. So, I guess we'll just have to figure something else out. But it looks like, according to the video, this should just, yeah, there it goes. It just pops right off of there. So, all right. So now, set that up there out of the way. So now we, we've got this exposed, and we got this one, and I think there's just one more right here somewhere. So let me see what I can find out about that. All right, show you more. Okay. As you can see, this has got one of those little push pin kind of things. And then this one is actually a 10 millimeter screw. So let's, kind of hard to do this with the holding it as well, but let's get that popped out of there. And then we'll, let's here and take our 10 millimeter socket. Oh, nope, not a 10 millimeter. All right, let me get the right size. Okay, after trying to figure that out, it's an eight millimeter. So, we're gonna take this out. Now that guy that I Googled and watched his video from a couple years ago, 
said that this will just pop off of there and it's snapped in. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I feel like I'm gonna break it. So let me look at it a little closer here before I before I do anything else. Okay. Well, upon further evalu evaluation of the situation, this little one here pops off of this, and then it does. It just pops right out of there, and there, right in that little area right there, you can see it, my finger's in the way, but anyway, there is a bolt. There, you can see it, right there, and that's got to come out, and then this whole light should just pop right out of there. Okay, I also found that when I went to pull this out far enough to get my wrench in here, that this is holding it, so I popped that one up out of there, and now this thing will spread apart far enough for me to get, to get my wrench down in there and get on that screw, so, alright, let's see if we can get it done now. Okay, I got that loose, so this thing should come up out of there somehow, supposedly. It does have the wires attached to it yet, so let me see if I can put it down here. slide it forward, the whole thing, to get it to pop in and out of there. Alright, so that's out of there. Now, so what we got is all these bulbs that have to come out. Now, I, I didn't, I bought ones with bulbs in them because I wanted to change to LED. Those annoying LED lights that you have to face when you're going down the road. I hate them, but I certainly like being in the vehicle, driving a vehicle that has them because you can really see. So, so we're gonna unplug all these, just like this. You can certainly see the difference. And this one's still got the plastic on it, actually. So, and it's really gonna be shiny. It'll look brand new. So, anyway. Yeah, see, so look at the difference. I mean, this is just a 2011, but, yeesh. Uh, a lot of highway miles, so. All right, I'll show you what it looks like when I get it in. By the way, this is where I bought my headlamps. They're Headlights Depot, or Depot, or whatever you want to call it. Um, they were a good price, and like I said, I wanted the ones with the halogen lights so that I can blind people going down the road like um, everybody else seems to be doing. So I know that's not really the right attitude, but man, I don't know what the neighbors are doing over there. They're rolling out some big rocks. Goodness. So anyway, you can see I got the new one in, and uh, so got to get over here and take this one apart, and then I'll show you what they look like once we get them all on there. All right. Okay. Well, we got the other side put in, so uh, let's go see if they work. Let's put the hood down here. 
probably jinx it by putting the hood down too soon. And I wanted to show you the tools I use too. So the a 10 millimeter socket and extension. I just like using extensions. You didn't really need it until you, you were at this bolt here. And then this eight millimeter socket I used on that fender because it had those pop-in things that you use with a screwdriver with like we did on the front cowling. But, um, and then I, I used these to pull those grommets out with and then this I used, this bolt that was down in here was so deep down in there that once I got it loose I took these in there and slipped in there and pulled the bolt out. So, alright, so let's turn the lights on and I uh, better get my key out here. Sorry, I keep hitting that button on my phone that shuts the thing off. Um, so, let's turn on the left blinker. Yeah, that one's working. Let's turn on the right blinker. And you can see it's flashing too, so that's good. Now let's turn on some headlamps. Oh yeah, nice and bright and annoying. Yeah, this looks so much better than those old blurry ones. Let's make sure our brights are working. Looks like they are. Oh yeah, we all be able to see going down the road now. So, okay, well thanks for coming along on this Fourth of July. Run to Lula, run! Hi, baby.